What's up, Kathy? What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, how's y'all? Uh, how'd y'all like that workout? Talk to me. How'd y'all like that workout? Because that workout was tough. Tough. Still trying to kill me, y'all. Just trying to kill me. I'm like, I'm like trying to, this is, I, I just drank the whole bottle. This is my second bottle now. I'm confused to why you keep saying like, I was trying to kill you. <laughs> this was your app workout. Because I only do three rounds and you, and you suggest the four rounds, you know, <laughs> so that mentally I was ready for three rounds, but, uh, it's cool. We did four. We did four. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. We did four. Um, it, now, now, I now you're you're giving people ideas that they can they should they can ask for it for for another round, but it's okay. I like the idea. We might we might have to add another round now. We even might, numbers. Even, even numbers. Yeah, we might have to do that now. So sure. how are how are you doing? I'm good. I mean, um, so right now, the NWSL is holding a Challenge Cup in Utah. So, um. That's been fun, but I've been injured, so I haven't been able to play. Right, uh, we actually just, yeah, what we talked about earlier, we played mm -hmm. today and we won. Um, but then I have to go do an individual training in like 45 minutes because I'm just getting back to playing, you know? Okay. So are you, so you're, you're back on the field now? Or is it so you're? Yeah. So today, today is my like return. It's like the start of my return to play. So I get to sprint and uh, touch the ball. I actually. Yeah, so I did this about a month ago, tried coming back, um, maybe came back too early, not quite sure, and re reheard it. So I'm on like a month of feeling my hammy, yeah. which is crazy because I've gone, you know, my whole career without ever, ever having a muscular injury. Mm -hmm. And this is like, this is my first one ever. Um, so it's been, it's been interesting, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I've, I mean. I personally know a lot about in, uh, hamstring injuries and muscular injuries. Dealt with a lot of them last year for sure. Um, especially for especially with Hemi, it's like it's just weird because you feel you feel good when you're not you know when you're not so explosive. But like the moment that you start to like become like more explosive, that's when like you start to feel it. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's it's weird. Like you have you have to really count. You have to really take your very very own time and and take longer than they say you need to mm. because it's very weird yeah and if it was a regular season like i would probably not be in such a rush but mm. this tournament is so short i mean we've already i've already missed three games and it's been we've been here for a week and a half you know how many, how many games do you guys have so we're doing so we're playing four group stages and then every team makes it to the quarters so you have five guaranteed and then obviously once you get to the quarters it's just single Elimination. Right. So, yeah. Man, it's, that's. I, I I didn't. Well, I, I didn't know about the the structure of the tournament, but I knew about the tournament. Yeah, I think it's like pretty similar to what the MLS is doing. Obviously, mm -hmm. they just have like more teams and stuff. But right. same idea. It's kind of like a World Cup Olympics. Like we get only like three days in between each game. That's not. That's not. That's not really a lot of not like a lot of time. To yeah. Um. So I, I watched the video of your team, the black, the black Lives matter video. And, uh, oh, yeah. I saw that and I thought it was amazing. Oh, uh, good. Good. Um, of what you guys did. Were you, su were you surprised? I mean, let's talk about it. Were you surprised about, um, the outcome of the, of the video of the, of the, like the questions that were asked? Yeah. So <clears throat> I knew we were doing the privilege walk, but I wasn't quite sure. Um, yeah, the exact questions that were going to be asked. And so actually we went through it twice because obviously we were filming. So we just wanted to make sure we had the right footage. And so the first time um, I wasn't really looking back, you know, I was just kind of like thinking of the questions and um, figuring out if they pertain to me or not. And so I was just kind of focused on, on that. And then we did it again. 
and I was more aware of the people behind me. And, um, you know, it was a really moving, a move. I don't know, I felt very moved. Our whole team felt very um, impacted by that privilege walk because I think for me throughout this whole um, unfortunate, you know, the last like, like unfortunate events that have happened recently, I've, I've been very like, um, I've just thought of racism as like right now, like, oh, you know, racism is just happening right now. But the reality of it is, is it's, hap it's been happening for a long time and there's history behind it. And I'm so thankful to have, I mean, I, we have a lot of black girls on our team and they're so open and vulnerable and talk about how they've um, experienced racism their whole life. And so doing that privilege walk and just seeing some simple, you know, like those questions being asked and just seeing all of them just back there, I was like, wow, this started from, you know, basically when you were born, like yeah. you've been facing this your whole life. And yeah. I think it was just really eye opening to all of us. I mean, afterwards, we, we were all crying, like in a circle and just reflected on the situation. And um, it brought us way closer together. Yeah. And I'm just really thankful to be on this team because we were being we're talking about it. I mean, we're doing weekly book club and um, we read a lot of articles just about systemic racism and the history and everything and we discuss it as a team. And it's, it's been really eye opening. And I'm just again, so thankful to play on the whole rain. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely I mean, it's definitely uncomfortable, for sure. Being able, being able to have these conversation, especially in a situation like that. Uh, but once you can start having these conversation, it definitely starts to bring people closer, especially for a team. Uh, definitely starts to bring you closer. For us, it's the same way for my team. Um, you know, our organization is giving us this platform to be able to speak up and not be afraid. Uh, we have our owners that are giving, are listening to us and wanting to know how we're feeling during this time, mm -hmm. with the the people of color on our team or on the within the club, within the staff as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing that, you know, to have the support from the club. Um, I know for I saw that they for me, I saw my our club was like one of the very few clubs that were out there and were part of the first people that were like, all right, well, we're with you guys. We're supporting you guys. We're they but they brought out a statement as right they away. should be, yeah. yeah, right away without even hesitating. And then later yeah. on, I started to see other other clubs and other leagues started to follow and started to uh, bring out statement. And um, and I'm like, wow, I'm so happy and so proud that I'm a part of a club that is allowing me to speak up, especially during this time that is difficult for me. And um, and so and so it's amazing. And, I'm, and I was so happy to see that video that or to hear that you guys are doing things like that. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, were you, so, so the, so I saw the U S the U S uh, so the U S Federation finally released a statement about, um, about them agreeing with uh, Megan Rapino about, yeah. about her um, stand, um, standing up and refusing to, uh, to, to, to take a, to stand doing the national anthem. What, um, were you surprised about all of that or do you like what are your take on that no i'm not i'm not surprised i think back in 2016 when kaepernick kneeled and pino kneeled like people just were not educated you know they just were not and um you know pino plays on ol range he's not here in the mm -hmm. tournament right now but i i obviously know her just from camps and stuff and um that's just who she is. Like she knows how she feels about a situation. Doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. And so I'm not surprised she was the one that was kneeling with Kaepernick. Um, you know, back then when they basically said you can't kneel, um, I, I didn't even know that they made that a rule to be honest. And so when I saw that they um, said that you can kneel now, I was like, wait, you couldn't kneel? Like, I can't believe that that actually was like a rule. Um, but you know, of course, uh, people should have the option to do what they want. I mean, it's freedom of speech, essentially. So if people want to kneel during the national anthem. It's their choice. Yeah. And it, it's, it's kind of sad that, that uh, you know, they took that away and that they thought that it was just about the flag and about the, the, the disrespect to the country and all exactly. that. Exactly. But forget. A lot of people talk about that. They're like, oh, it's so disrespectful. And it's just that idea of like, okay, well, then you don't know what, why we're kneeling. Like, <laughs> has nothing to do with 
the flag I understand but you know you know the story about like Kaepernick and um, mm -hmm. why he decided to kneel right mm -hmm. yeah 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 it's like it was supposed to not be disrespectful to the flag exactly like a former former Navy SEAL or something right like he said hey maybe don't sit on the bench like you should kneel because yeah. when people pass away um you know to show respect you go to their grave and you kneel so actually it was supposed to be the opposite of that. And the reason why people think it has to do with the flag is because four years ago, Trump said that it was disrespectful, but it's not, it's not, you know, we have a lot of girls on our team who have family like that have been in the military and uh, they kneel and they talk to their families about it and they respect that and they agree it has nothing to do with the flag. Wow, that's amazing. Like, that's amazing to hear that, you know, like having teammates that family that are, that are in the army that their family are supporting that. Mm -hmm. because, because a lot of I mean like you said like a lot of people are saying that oh it's a disrespect to the flag disrespect to the people that are fighting for us and living uh, um, out there in battle trying to fight for our freedom but then yet again we're not all free yeah yeah exactly you know? and and so yeah. I, I mean I did I did read about uh, Kaepernick about how he when when he first started he was he was first sitting on the bench doing mm -hmm. the and um, like you said, I don't know if it was a Marine or a Navy SEAL that said went in and had a conversation with him and told him that um, if you want to best if you if you want to protest peacefully, you want to show some respect to us uh, when people when when men or women pass away, we take a knee for them, and so mm -hmm. um, it was amazing that you know and he even he said it repeatedly that's uh that's why he's doing it yeah yeah there i mean there's this perception that's just not real <laughs> yeah like you know no disrespect to the flag obviously yeah. it's about um systemic racism and fighting for equality you know yeah. that's normal thing to be doing <laughs> yeah for sure yeah uh, um, so i'm not sure i'm not sure did you see the video that um i posted about that that woman from that had a tennessee voice shirt on that um um uh she was talking about all life uh white life matters white life matters only oh my goodness so this one girl her name is sierra this she's 16 years old let's see who's like what are people saying here i think i know i was like what this ties back to what is that keep going okay so um so uh there's like this video going viral right now uh about this lady talking about she's talking about why life matter why life matters only talking to a 16 year old um calling calling a 16 year old all kinds of name um and then she said somebody said we should have kept you mother effer as slaves it's 20 it's 2020 and this is in, this is in east tennessee it's 2020 and we still have people speaking this type of I can't thing. even say what I really want to say about that right now. <laughs> it would not be appropriate. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's messed up. Yeah. That's and, so sad. Yeah, very <laughs> I, and this, like people think like that? What do you mean? I, it's in this this like the reason why I posted it because it it was in my it was in my hometown where I grew up. The, I spent the most time when I came to the US. Oh, I, there, wow. And and I'm just like holy like I know, I know there's hate everywhere, but the fact that this is like in my hometown. Yeah, I'm so it's sorry. Just, it's just crazy. I know. Thank you. I mean, and it's just wild. But couple, I mean, couple, couple days later, two days later, went viral everywhere. I mean, over like I want to say, lock her up, all over. But then Karen, Karen lost her job. Good. Um, lost her job, but then guess what? She did an interview with the news, and I'm gonna post this later. But um, you're gonna be like the first one. I'm gonna play this, and um, uh, Elizabeth, a woman caught on camera making racist remarks at a Black Lives Matter protest over the weekend in Elizabethton. It's our top story now tonight at 11. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. I'm Josh Smith. Sonia Holt was captured on cell phone video confronting Black Lives Matter protesters at the Covered Bridge Park. Holt, to 
tonight expressed regret for her now viral comments. She said her original intent for going to the protest was to show support for police officers. Holt said she'd never been to a protest before. She also addressed comments that she made towards New Generation Freedom Fighter board member Sierra Gilmer. My comment about me saying silly little black girl, I would have said that if that was a white girl. I would have said silly little white girl. So I do apologize for saying that. I did not mean to demean anybody. And, of course, I apologize to her family. Again, I did not know she was a minor. I would have never spoke to her had I known that. Um, I am very, very sorry for that. Holt also addressed a verbal confrontation. A terrible. A man named <laughs> Seth Lovin, where she made homophobic comments to him. Lovin captured that on video. Holt accused him of saying that she was in the KKK, and that upset her. He denies saying that to her. She also addressed the comments she made, such as, white lives matter, white lives are better. Oh. Me saying white lives matter, white lives are better. I was repeating, but not all of them, not all of them. The some the Black Lives Matter group were saying, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives are better. I was just repeating what they were saying. I just changed it from black to white because I wanted them to see how hurtful that sounded. Sonia Holt tonight speaking with us. She said her, she wished she'd never gone to that protest in Elizabeth on Saturday. Holt also told us she did lose her job because of that confrontation. But she has respect for her former employer. You can read more from Sonia Holt now, posted on WJHL.com. Speechless. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I can't even talk shit about it because I was like. <laughs> You're so stupid. That's terrible. I mean, I mean like, first of all, it, I mean, it's weird. It's weird how this. It was weird. It's weird how they're sorry and know better only after things go viral, viral, and they lose their job. When you That's hear what, some, when you hear something like that, like, does it make you um, feel any type of way? Or are you like she's ignorant and dumb, or does it make you like feel? emotional or something you know what I, mean? I mean um hearing hearing something like that it makes me it, like you know it makes me angry to hear i mean it doesn't matter if you're if you're black or white mm -hmm. it makes me angry that any human being right would just say anything like that to someone right uh because for me like i have no i have no hate towards mm -hmm. white people uh it, it doesn't make me want to hate white people even more like you know because like I grew up with white people, like my right. most, like, and so I have so much love for them. I know that not every white person is is like this, right? And so, yeah. and so when I see something like that, it makes me even it makes me want to educate people even more, right? It makes it makes me like it, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm like, well, it is now. This is my job now. I need to still. I need to. I need to get more love into into this world. Yeah. Uh, it's because we the fact that we still have hate uh going on is is crazy for and sure. and she didn't even apologize for this like like all the other are you surprised like, i mean anyone I'm who's not... saying that doesn't have a moral compass slash sympathy or empathy or you know yeah i'm not surprised she didn't apologize the only thing that the only thing she apologized for was the for the girl being a minor i mean even even if she was not even a minor like, exactly minor. Like you should not say that to anybody. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so uh, it's just crazy. Like you know, it's 2020, and we still have this stuff. And this is why it's important that you know we continue to speak up. And um, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that we are part of the voice with Zach and mm -hmm. uh, Annie and all these guys. And it's amazing that uh, Zach is allowing us to use our voice to speak up as well. And um, mm -hmm. and so um, and. I mean, it's great. It's great to have this conversation with you, um, as well. So I uh, thank you for thank you so much for coming on and 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 uh, and having this conversation for sure. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. I mean, I'm thankful that we finally like virtually met and we are having this conversation because, you know, obviously the world just like needs more love. And right. you know, I know we don't know each other, but obviously you have my support. And um, you know. Any anytime you ever need anything, and yes, obviously we're gonna work together because of Voice Now and stuff. Yes, for sure. I'm excited. I'm excited that we get to, we get to work together. Um, but for sure, I mean, like I said, um, I mean, I 
I know you, but not really know you because I mean I've watched you play a couple of times, and uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm a. Oh, you've watched me play. I've watched you play. Let's I go. Know. I've seen I've seen some bangers um, <laughs> as well. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan, and um, oh, thank and, you. Uh, I'm so I'm so glad that you uh, we finally finally got the opportunity to talk about this and to work out. Hopefully, hopefully more in the future. Um, for sure, I'm I'm excited. You think you think Ali can handle this? You think Ali Long can handle this? Oh, did you ask her? I haven't asked her yet. I'm thinking about it. Should I ask her? I, I don't know. If you want to, I'm sure she'd be fine. Yeah. All right. We sh should do the exact same workouts. You. The exact okay. Same. So I'll let her know. You can challenge her. You can challenge her on that. But um, good luck recovering. Uh, when's the next game? Mm, Monday. Monday. The, is it that the oh. 13th? <laughs> speaking, speaking of the devil, she just said, what's, what's up? What's up, Allie? <laughs> Allie, you, did you, hey, did you get a chance to uh, watch this workout? Nah, she probably she, just logged on. She, <laughs> Allie's, the, Allie's the best. She's been, like, helping me recover. She comes over, puts, like, helps with my treatment. She's the best. Is she, wait, is she from the Bay? Because I've seen, I've no, seen her. She's I've from seen, New York. She's from New York? Yeah. I've seen, like, videos of her training in the Bay before. Oh, yeah, she spends time in San Fran. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yes, Allie, we were, we were just talking about you just now, about you doing the work. <laughs> Are you up for it? I was just on a Zoom call. I came from... <laughs> we had some questions in here, and we just ignored all of them. Oops. Oh, we, we, we did? Oh, my gosh. I trained at Cope Valley, says. That's an SF. <laughs> all right. Hey, Allie, let me know when you're ready for the to do this core session, okay? Um, <laughs> Uh, she, she's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you guys like you can hear me. <laughs> um, so somebody said, somebody asked you, what cleats are you wearing? Somebody asked you that. I think I remember. I'll show you. I'm wearing Nemesis. Nemesis? Yeah, actually, look how cool these are. Um, Ooh. Adidas, like, made these for their athletes. Ooh, okay. Dope, right? What's, what size is that? I got to break them in. Um, seven what and a half that? men. Why, you want a pair? I mean, I'm, I was like, shoot, I, I'm like, send me a pair. <laughs> he said, stop <laughs> laughing at me. All right, I know, I, she's crazy. No, no, I, I absolutely love her, and um, she's, I, I love watching her, her, uh, her, her uh, Instagram. She's hilarious. She's so funny. So, she's so funny. So funny. The, the the video of you just sitting in the locker and you just DJing with your glasses on was the <laughs> I'm like I gotta do my said, part. I can't play, I gotta get everyone pumped up. She said I'll do chorus <laughs> if you comes on and scream and stream as well. So you gotta so you gotta you gotta go as well with her. Okay, I'll do it. All right, the invite is coming, Allie. The invite is coming. Uh so let me see those cleats though. Let me see those cleats. I didn't see You wanna them. see them again? Yes. Those are fire. Jeez. Let's go. And you say you haven't worn them yet? Well, I, I'm wearing these, but they don't have the Black Lives Matter on it. Oh, okay. Um, but I'll, I, so I'm probably going to play Monday, and I'll wear these, obviously. Yo, guys, you seen how tough those cleats are? Oh, my gosh, those are tough. I know, Adidas, guys. Let's go. <sighs> I mean... I had to wear Adidas last year. I had to wear Adidas last year. It was cool. It was cool. You had to? I had to. I was with I was with City last year. I was with City last year. And so we had to uh I didn't have I, I don't have a contract, so a uh, boots contract, so I had to wear Adidas because of it. Uh, oh. Yeah. I'll get you boots. <laughs> Send me your address. All right. Okay. Hey, you guys hear on you heard it first. You heard it first on IGTV. I'll get you boots. Uh, thanks, Mia. <laughs> What what game is she what what games does she play? Allie Twi plays like Call of Duty or some something. Oh my gosh, I've, I'm not a gamer. I've never played any game. I'm turning I into a diehard OL Rain fan. Yeah, that's what's up. Yes, yes. I I just uh, man, I gotta. So have you? Are you guys gonna play Danny? Are you guys huh? gonna play Danny's team? Are you guys gonna play Danny's team? Um, like if we run into him. Um, Warzone Wednesday, Allie. Warzone Wednesday. <laughs> Allie's probably just like laying in her bed watching our live. <laughs> Allie, come over. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll play Chicago potentially in like the quarter semis, maybe finals. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, Allie, come join her. How far are you from her from her room, Bill? She's right down. <laughs> she's right down the hall. <laughs> We've been in a hotel for over a month and a half. No way. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. She said, "Okay, hold on." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did, did you pack? Did you pack enough like to last you till when is this supposed to be over? Um, I guess like the final is July twenty sixth, maybe. That's my that's my country's Independence Day, so you got you got to get there. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that you and Danny's team are in the finals. I know and, that's my old team. You know that, right? Yes, I do. It's okay. It's all right. So how long have you been with uh, with this team? Um, this is my first season. So I was I got drafted in 2015 to Chicago. I was there for three and a half seasons. Um, got traded to Houston. Mm -hmm. Was there for a season and a half, and then <laughs> Allie. and then I got traded during the off season um, to the Rain. I've been trying to get to the Rain for a couple years now. Um, I'm so, so happy. finally, just to just to play with Allie, right? Yeah, just play with Allie. <laughs> just to play with Allie. No, nobody else. Nobody else. Just to play with her. Yeah. Um. So, um. So, how does this work, though? I see that you were in you were in Australia, right? Yeah. So, um. Basically, the NWSL it depends on how far you make it, but um, you know, it's anywhere from seven to eight, seven and a half to eight months, and then you have like a four month off season and the W league, which is the league in Australia runs during that off season. So okay. for the last basically four seasons, I've played in the NWSL and then, um, uh Oh guys, we have, a, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have an extra game. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Love this. Love this. Why are you love so delayed? This. Love this. Love this. Here she is, ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, here Allie. Here she is. She is here. Here's the, the real story. <laughs> the lighting is so good. The 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 legend. The legend. Fire. You said I'm gonna be on the Say with me. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's I have still, to leave to watch this. So. She's still watching her on her thing. Did you look? Let me see. This lighting is nice over wow. here. Wow. Wow. Hey, so if you if you need to get your selfie game, this is where you guys need to show the view, so I'm just going to leave it on. What do you mean? Like, you can see how many people are viewing, so I'm going to be viewing it, but... Yeah, so please, so I'm 73, so if I get out, it would be 73. Oh, I do. <laughs> All right, guys. The star is here. No, no, the star is here. Oh, it's going up. 78 now. Everybody, yeah, everybody. Yeah, what the hell? If we put Allie's Instagram on. It went, it it went from 50, no. now it's at 80. It's at 80 now, because she's here. She's so popular? No, I'm not. She, How do I put it to my Instagram? You have well, to she, she got to get off, and then you got to request. But, uh. Um, I don't have to get off. Do I have to get off? Yeah. But we're not, we're not going to get off. So, Allie, you got to come okay. on. You gotta, you gotta okay, boss. On. You got to come on next time. Uh, when um, are you free? When are you free? You, um, I'm free, <laughs> hold on, every day. Every I'm just letting you know now, Allie's not reliable, so you're going to pick a day and time, she's not going to come right away. Well, Wars on Wednesday, I'm there every Wednesday. <laughs> You've right, literally so, been so, late to Wars on Wednesday, like, four times. So <laughs> you had to. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm in tournament mode. Uh, Allie, did Bachi eat a pee yet? No. <laughs> no. All right, so Wednesday's not a go so, for you. Like, Wednesday's not a go for you at all. What? Sorry. Wednesday's no no for you. Uh, no, I'm free Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm literally free every day now. Every, we every do, day. We have practice. Besides practicing games, I'm free. All right. So oh, no. Monday you play a game. How about Wednesday? Next Wednesday. Okay. Can we name it Warzone Wednesday? <laughs> Warzone Wednesday. I'm going to write this down right now so I don't forget. Thank War you. Warzone. But I get to come, right? You you can you can be with her as well. if you want if you want to come do it as well you can do it. I, he does four. Oh, we did core for twenty minutes before that. Twenty minutes. Twenty. Twenty minutes. Easy. I'm telling you, it's really easy. Trust me. Twenty seconds or twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's twenty. It's twenty seconds on, ten seconds off. Okay, I can do that. Easy. But yeah. Like, only if 
you come on my streams. Yeah, you let me know. You tell me okay. when. Okay. Tell me when. Okay, Wait, I don't have a I don't have a Twitch account. That make one. All right, I'm gonna have to. Ali have to. Long, and that's it. <laughs> 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 Wait, Mia, okay, Mia, thank you. Mia's here. She's from my Twitch. I saw a re right there from my Twitch. Okay, hey, girlies, girlies, boys, I'm not sure. Girlies. <laughs> well, I mean, what is Maggie? a Twitch? What is a Twitch? <laughs> I don't think that's Mag. Maggie, are you on my Twitch? No. I remember everyone. Do you have TikTok? I do not have a TikTok. Yes, Allie, she is. I'm, I'm like, I'm like... I just have an Instagram and Twitter, but I only use Instagram more. It's okay. I I like have a TikTok, but it's just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait. can't believe we just did that. <laughs> this is how bored we are. Oh, you guys, you guys are about to make me get. You guys are about to make me get like a go get TikTok <laughs> now. Uh, Allie, are you on TikTok? Yeah, I have one song. The Renegade, Renegade, Renegade. <laughs> But she um, has one video. I have like 15 and she has so many more followers than me. But I think I'm going to post uh, some TikTok soon. Oh, yeah, she do that. Yeah, she do the core one where you jump over each other. Okay. Have you seen that? What I, if I, what if I, I can't if... jump? <laughs> what if I crush her? If you crush her, I then, sense then you TikTok make your TikTok. <gasps> yes, I told you. Yeah, I told you. So... When I last time I streamed, I was like, "Listen, my girls are going hard in the other room, doing TikToks. Can everyone follow them right now?" And then Mia, literally, and I actually wasn't following them, but Mia, <laughs> but I followed them now. Don't worry. Mia went in and like basically just shouted, put all their TikToks. It was three. It was her, Taylor, and then this other girl, Bethany Valser, who scored today. Um, it was those three, and um, and yeah. <laughs> That's oh, story. I, love, I love how she remembers everybody's name. Yeah, Mia, because I say everyone's name. I'm like, what's up, Mia? What's up, Liz? What's up, Rian Tamer? <laughs> right, girlies, tell them. <laughs> oh my uh, god, she's so excited. She that was me. Yeah, she's see? buzzing. See, okay. Good job, Mia. She is buzzing. My girl. <laughs> right now. We should actually <laughs> have a, a live every day. Yeah, we game. should. You, you should. I don't know why you don't. You should do it. Mm. It's just we can think of a topic and then just like talk about it. War Warzone Wednesday. You have you have your you have your title right now. Warzone. Should, we, should me and on um, Warzone Wednesday should me and Soph like wrestle? <laughs> no, just definitely. Arm also, arm also, arm also in there. Julian, Julian, what time? <laughs> you, 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 you guys on my space? Like Oh my god. Is it still popping or what? Yo, you guys are on MySpace. Oh my god. Yeah, Kenzie, Kenzie. Yeah. Kenzie. I know Elmo Mickey. Yeah, oh, she's sorry. fire. Is Kenzie on your on your Twitch? Yes, fight it out. I was kidding, Liz. Uh Kenzie's on my Twitch. I think Liz. Shout out if you're on my Twitch right now. Go. <laughs> Where is she? I'm from Costa Rica. What's up? From Costa Rica. Random Mustangs. Um, are you a Mustang? Are you, are you, are you a museum? Stella, hello. Don't tell me you forgot. No, I've been calling you out, Rian Tamer. Me. See? <laughs> Dang, just trying to fill out that eight top coming at me hard. You know, Sorry. Top eight. Would we be in your, would us three be in your top eight? Ten. Oh, yeah. Who would be, sure. be in your top eight? Hey, who would be in your top eight? So, go, so go ahead. Who would be in your top eight? Right now, if you could pick, who will be in your top eight? Right now? Right now. Ooh. Ooh. So? Uh, yeah, be, yeah, be, sure. be, car be careful. People lose friendship over this. So? Wait, do you really want me to list? I mean, go ahead. So, go. So, Alex, Kelly, I guess Bati. <laughs> <laughs> Her husband, Servando. I mean, Alex's husband, not mine. Um, Serve. Um, Pookie, Pookie, <laughs> uh, Tobin. Did I say more than eight? I wasn't counting. So that, was, nice. that, that, that was about eight. Oh, thank you. I love it here. Thanks. Wait, Liam. so, wait, so, Sylvia's so number one? No, I'm not her number one, yeah, but I'm is. her top eight. She would oh, be my, she would be the highlighted number one. Like, number one? Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen people lose friendship over who's who's number one. So, and then, and then, if you make that per if you make that person mad, you, you well, I had three brought. I had three maid of honors because I couldn't pick. <laughs> All right. So I would have four number ones. Just kidding. Um. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Charlie, you're right. Alexa, thank you. Who's <laughs> Charlie? Oh, oh. Well, that's come on. Yeah, I mean, like. She's All right. Not so, even, what about you? What about you? Yet. Um, I don't know. Honestly, wow. it's too hard I, to choose. You, you heard that? She said she don't know. She. I already know. told you she'd be on it. I don't oh, know. She's, oh, oh, Dang she's on it. Where, where is she? Where is she at in that top eight? Probably two or three. It's fine though. I'm not mad. <laughs> I I can't choose too many friends. Can't you change your <laughs> Too many friends. Too many friends. She does have so many friends. <laughs> I like she to keep so my friends. circle like tight. So we'll have a tight circle and a little more. Hers is a little more like a octagon. Mine's more <laughs> like a stop sign. <laughs> 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 She's like, wait, how many, how many, how many sizes is there? Can't relate. You guys, I might have to go to practice. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm training with her tomorrow. I can't wait. Thank you so much for crashing. Love it. So thank you so much for joining and doing the co-workout and having this discussion is amazing. Uh, big fan of both of you guys. And uh, Ali, I look forward to War Zone Wednesday next week. So if I'm glad Let's you're back, go. welcome back. Good luck. Good Thank luck you. you yeah, it was uh, nice to meet you. Thanks for putting me through the sure. workout. I'm glad. So All right, core guys. queen. Imagine being Sophia's friend. She's <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, is that, me, is that me again? Me is the best. <laughs> Yo, Thanks. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Allie, uh, <laughs> should do this more often, Sophia. You should do this more often, Sophia. All right, guys. See you later. <laughs> yo guys that was absolutely fun thank you guys for joining um love 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 doing this and it's a passion of mine now and i uh, hope you guys have a great great day and uh stay <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's all right it's okay. Sorry. We just wanted to sign back on and say goodbye. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> love it. Love it. Guys, have a great day. See y'all later. Bye.